The hip roll weathers the hip junction to stop water getting into the roof. We need to make sure that the hip roll extends onto the ridge at the top, like so. When fitting the roll ridge, we can make sure there is a good lap over the hip rolls at the ridge hip junction. To fully ensure that the ridge hip junction is weather tight, we can fit a Coraflex saddle over the hip and ridge rolls. A good tip to mark out the saddle is to draw around the top of a builder's bucket. Before removing the backing paper, roughly form the saddle to the shape of the junction. We can then remove the backing paper and dress the saddle closely into the junction, then any water getting through the joints will be safely shed out onto the tiles. We need to cut the hip tiles to meet as neatly as possible with the end ridge tile. Firstly, we mark from the bottom of the junction, keeping our line as vertical as possible. Then we draw another line here where the hip ridge meets the end ridge tile. Then we do the same with the other side, like so. Once marked out, we can cut off the excess using a disc cutter. Once cut, we need to drill each intersecting hip and ridge tile so we can secure them with screws and sealing washers. We are now ready to fit the cut hip and ridge tiles and secure them into place. And there we have the hip ridge junction. With the hip and ridge rolls underneath and the Coraflex saddle, the junction is perfectly waterproof. But it is not always easy to get a really neat intersection like this. So one option is to fill the gaps with a sealant. There you can see the sealant gives a neater appearance to the cut ends of the hip and ridge tiles. One further option is to put a Coraflex saddle over the top of the junction rather than underneath. This will still weather the junction and it will also hide any untidy cutting. Cut a Coraflex saddle wide enough and long enough to easily cover all three joints. It will need cutting from a 450mm wide roll. Put the saddle over the junction and dress it roughly over before removing the backing paper. Once it is in position, we will trim it from the bottom of the intersection, around here, keeping the edges parallel with the hip tile ends. Then we are ready to remove the first backing paper and position the saddle over the junction. Then we can peel the other backing paper off and finish dressing the saddle. Any excess, like here, can be simply trimmed off with a sharp knife. And there we have a neat, simple way of covering and weathering the hip ridge junction.